I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R720 server. In this video we're going to specifically show you how to update your BIOS. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R720 server. Do us a favor, find this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's get uh, going. This video is going to be uh, specifically showing you how to update your BIOS. Uh, it's going to only be an update to your BIOS. Uh, and the way that we're going to show you how to do it, you do not need an operating system to do it. Um, two videos from now, we're going to do a video and we're going to show you how to do mass updates. And that video, um, I recommend you definitely look into, uh, especially if you have an operating system, um, and that's going to let you update uh, a whole lot more than just the BIOS. It's going to be the onboard diagnostics, the firmware, the NIC card, plus a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, so I definitely recommend if you're interested in updating your BIOS, checking that out as well. So all you're really going to need uh, for what we're going to do is a USB drive. That's the only uh, extra uh, piece of equipment that you'll need. Uh, and outside of that, uh, we'll just go ahead and hop into it and show you exactly how to do it step by step. Hey guys, this has been with Cloud Ninjas, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to update your BIOS. Overall, it's a very easy process. This is going to require us going to Dell's website and downloading an EFI file, uh, then moving that EFI file to a USB drive, plugging in that USB drive to our server, and then starting the BIOS update. It's always good to have an up-to-date BIOS because over the years, Dell releases different BIOS updates that come with new functionalities and support for newer technologies. And this is always good to have, especially as different technologies come out. You want to be able to have that support for those so you can increase the capabilities of your system. Not only does it increase the amount of functionality and support that you have for your system, it's always good for security. Just in general, it's good to have an up-to-date system. And as updates, you know, whether it's software or firmware updates or you know, BIOS updates, as they come out over time, different security patches come out. So it's always good to have an updated BIOS. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first, you want to go ahead and go to Dell's website. So on Dell's website, you want to navigate to the top Click on support and then support home. And then right here, you want to go ahead and type in the name of the server. And then you want to go ahead and click on our server. And then in here, we can go to the drivers and downloads tab. Once we click on that, go ahead for the operating system, you want to do not applicable. And then for category, go ahead and select BIOS. You want to click on this little arrow on the right side and then navigate to other formats. And then you want to click the download button that's next to EFI. This is going to download our file, so we'll just let it download. So it's a fairly quick download. Once it's finished downloading, we want to go ahead and go to our file explorer. And then we want to drag this over and then put it into a USB drive. And this USB drive is what we're going to plug into our server. Once you've downloaded the EFI file and moved it to the USB drive, you want to go ahead and boot your server up. You want to press F11 on post, and this is going to bring you into the boot manager. So once you're in boot manager, you want to go all the way down to system utilities. And in System Utilities, you want to go down to BIOS Update File Explorer. And here, this is where you want to select the USB drive. So we click on that drive. And then we want to go down and click on the EFI file. And this is the file we installed earlier. And once we click this, this is going to go ahead and start our BIOS update. So really, from this point, you just want to do Continue BIOS Update. And from here, all we got to do is just wait till the update is done. It's that simple. So that is how we do a BIOS update. As you can see, it's very easy to do, very simple, and it's just good practice to have an up-to-date BIOS. So now that we've updated our BIOS, I want to go ahead and show you how to check the BIOS version. This isn't necessary to do, but it's just good to know where to find this information, um, especially if you're somebody who's wondering, hey, do I even need to update my BIOS? You can go ahead and check your current version, and then you can go to Dell's website and see the, the BIOS version or the newest BIOS version that's up there and see if that's something you need to upgrade or not, because who knows, maybe you already have the most up-to-date BIOS. 
So in order to do this, you want to go ahead and boot up your system. You want to go ahead and press F2. And once you press F2, this will bring you to System Setup. In System Setup, you want to click on System BIOS. Then you want to click on System Information. And in System Information, you can see where it says System BIOS Version. And you can see that it says 2.9.0. If you found anything in this video useful, go ahead, leave a like, and smash a subscribe. And if you're interested in purchasing a custom-built server, whether it's Dell, HPE, Supermicro, Cisco, IBM, go ahead and email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Thank you for stopping by.